Hi everybody, it's T. Now, you'll have to ignore the fan in the background, but as you can see, I'm in my office in the attic and it is burning up up here and so it's hot. So I'm not going to turn it off, so I hope that doesn't bother you too much. Okay, now, I did post on Facebook what you guys would like me to do a video about and I think a few of you commented so I'll keep that in mind for tomorrow's video but I already had what I was going to do today figured out so I'll go ahead and do this one and then I'll head on over to Facebook and look at all your comments so I can figure out which one to do for tomorrow so if you haven't went over there yet head on over there and do that now also don't forget to subscribe to me here so you can get notified of when i do post new videos because i don't always post them on facebook like if i just think about it, i go oh i need to put my you know video on there but i'm like don't have time to like post to facebook and stuff you guys can always keep up with me plus i'd appreciate it thank you also, you can follow me on Facebook at TessaLunaLuvia.com, and all that is in the links below. Okay, so today we are going to talk about meditation. Oh. And if you ever listen to any of my radio shows, you know why that makes me go, oh. But I'll get to that at the end of the video. So let's talk about meditation and why it may not work for you. So first of all, one of the main reasons I always find out when somebody comes into my psychic development class is that they use guided meditations. Now, sure, sure, guided meditations are wonderful and they take you to another place and, <laughs> and all that great stuff. I'm not a fan of them, obviously, but you don't want to depend on that. You don't want that to be the only way you can get into that meditative state is to listen to a guided meditation. Also, in a guided meditation, you are seeing what somebody is taking you there to see, if that makes sense. So if I like tell you, imagine a rainforest or imagine a waterfall and imagine there's a white dove over it, you're seeing what I want you to see. So you are having meditation through my perception, if that makes sense. So are you truly meditating for yourself or are you just having a relaxing, calming story listening? <laughs> Seriously. So... And true, as people tell us to look for this or that, we may actually be able to take ourselves there. But that's because you can already do that. And so me telling you where to go is not that hard. Just like if you open up a book and you start reading a book and you feel like you're in the book and you can relate to the characters and you can picture the castle. It's the same thing with a guided meditation. They're telling you what to see and what to look for. And so when you see that or achieve that, you're like, yay, I'm doing it right. When actually you're just kind of listening to an audio book of somebody else's story. So guided meditations is probably one of the reasons why you can't do your own meditation or get into that meditative state without somebody's help is because you're so used to doing guided meditations that you depend on them. So next thing, you have psychic ADHD, like me. I have it really bad. What is psychic ADHD? Y'all know what that is, and it might have been a word I made up, but, you know, I use it all the time. Psychic ADHD is when you start to calm down, you start doing your breathing exercises, and at about the third or fourth breath, you start thinking, I wonder what them kids are doing in the other room. Did I turn that oven off? Did I get milk at the store? What time is it anyway? And your mind starts going everywhere else except where it's supposed to be in this calming meditation. <laughs> so that's psychic ADHD. And I have a problem with that. And that's another thing I said I was going to talk to you at the end of the video about because that is something that I suffer with. And lastly, it can be either because you're too tired or you just don't have faith that it works. Sometimes when you're fresh and new into the whole spiritual thing and you're you're just starting to awake and you're into everything spiritual and you just want to learn as much as you can, you're excited to learn new things, but you're still skeptical on whether they'll work or not because you're still in that new phase. You're still in that new, I wonder if, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of spiritual people that have been doing meditation and spiritual work for years that still struggle with that is it my imagination or am I really doing something type thing? So it's all about learning again. Like I talked in the last video 
about trusting your visions and believing that that's what they are. So, and another thing, too tired. If you work all day, or if you've been chasing children around all day, cooking all day, cleaning all day, don't expect to sit down and be able to have a decent meditation because you are mentally exhausted. So the only thing you're going to do is end up falling asleep. I give exercises in my psychic development class all the time to help with clairvoyance, clear audience, and I always tell people, don't do these exercises at bedtime because you'll fall asleep. Don't do these exercises if you're exhausted because you'll fall asleep. Don't do them in the bathtub because you don't want to drown. Been there. Done that. Have to listen to my shocker video with Jeannie Voss to figure out what happened there. Okay, moving on. So anyway, so getting back to the whole meditation. Do you really need to meditate? Is it really that important? Can you not do your spiritual work or get to your spiritual path or, or get to your purpose without meditation? And the answer is no, you don't have to meditate. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Um, every now and then, I'll do what I like to call calming exercises when I'm a hot mess. Yeah, I do get a hot mess, but y'all know that. Um, but I do calming exercises where I like breathe in and out and count to 10. Another thing I like to do is like an inner cleansing. And that's when I push the white light through my whole body to, to cleanse myself, not only on the outside, but on the inside. And again, that's another video, but we'll get to that. Or you could just take my class and you can get to it quicker. So, <laughs> so I don't meditate. One, because I have psychic ADHD. I'm always thinking about the kids or what's in the oven or did I feed the dogs? And I just, I can't stay still that long enough. I was always hyperactive as a child. I'm hyperactive now, like y'all don't know that. And so it's very difficult for me to meditate. So I just don't do it. I have calming exercises and I do cleansing on myself internally. And sometimes I'll take my Akashic Record visit, another video, or take the class. <laughs> Y'all already know the drill. So meditating is not necessary for spiritual development or spiritual growth. And if you do like meditating and it is something that you want to do, do your own. Learn to do your own. Don't depend on other people's guided meditations to take you to where you need to be on your spiritual path. Put those guided meditations away and start trying it on your own. You know, get in your calm place, do your breathing, do your surrounding, and just take yourself to another place. Imagine waterfalls, rainforest. And I'm not going to go too deep into this because, again, you got to take my class or wait for another video. <laughs> but it's not absolutely necessary. You don't have to do it in order to achieve a spiritual purpose. It is nice if you could do it because it does bring a sense of calm to your life because we all need some calm. But you don't have to do it if you find it impossible to do especially if you have psychic ADHD like me to where you're forcing yourself to do it and you can't force yourself to meditate. If you force yourself to meditate, you're not going to have the results that you need to have. So just take some deep breaths, calm down, and keep trying. And if you decide it doesn't work, don't feel like you're a failure spiritually. Just know that meditation is not for you and move on. Bye!